Hello everyone and welcome back to Yazzie's World. Today this is part two. The part one video I showed you guys how to prep the apples, get the wax off the apples, so we can get to this point, this stage that we're going through now. So I have my apples, I have my bling sticks. I also make bling sticks, so feel free to comment if you would like to order. I also make bling sticks, so I have the bling sticks, the apples, the granulated sugar, corn syrup, we will have water. I have my food coloring, and I also have the gold that I'm gonna splash the apples with. I have my ribbon, treat bag, scissors, pan, and parchment paper, and what you need the most, your candy thermometer. So, for this recipe, it's really easy. Three ingredients that are gonna get you a, a good consistency of the candy recipe, and I've been using this recipe for like three years, and um, it works. My customers enjoy their candy apples. They tell me how good they are. So I'm sticking to my recipe. I've tried other recipes, but my recipe, it adds up just right. So three cups of sugar, granulated sugar, a half a cup of carol syrup or corn, light corn syrup, and one cup of water. Again, that's three cups of sugar, a half a cup of corn syrup, light corn syrup, and one cup of water. That's gonna get you between eight and 10 apples to be dipped, um, depending on the size. These are a little bigger, so I'll be good with that base of a recipe. Um, if you need more, double the recipe. So it'll be a cup of carol syrup, six cups of sugar, and two cups of water. Whatever you need, just double it. You won't go wrong with doubling your recipe. If you need to add just like half of it, add half of it. You know, use your measurements. It'll get you where you need to be. So I have my sugar, my syrup, I'm gonna get the water, the pot's already on the oven, ready um, to get this concoction. Um, candy thermometer, must have, it actually helps you because it tells you on here, hard candy stage, what stage you're trying to get to. We're trying to get to a hard candy stage, which means that when we dip those apples, that candy is gonna get hard on those apples ASAP. So sugar water, syrup, apples, bling sticks, like I said, if you're interested, I also make my own bling sticks, so contact me um, in my comments, or you can email me, my email address is also um, in my about section. Um, food coloring, I use a white, a little white as a base um, to help enhance the, the color that I'm gonna be using, which is gonna be a soft pink. I also add in a little metallic gold, it's a sheer, but it makes the base color, which is gonna be the pink, it kinda give it this little sparkle, little twinkle, if you say so. We have the, um, what we're gonna be using as the splashing, the pink apples with the gold, and I also use lemon extract to mix that up to give it um, the liquids, because it comes in the powder, so we want it to be liquefied, so that helps as well. We have our pan, our parchment paper, our candy bags, and our ribbon. So this is, our, this is what we're gonna use to get started. Um, yeah, so if you wanna follow along, grab all your items. You can do any color, whatever color you wanna make your apples, any color. Once again, you're gonna need your most important things that you are gonna need, of course, is your apples and your candy thermometer. You're gonna need three cups of sugar, a half a cup of light corn syrup, and one cup of water. And I'll also put it in my description box. I know I repeated it like three times, but I will also put it in my description box so you guys can um, have it there for you. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, and like I said in the first video, I keep white cloths just for this purpose. We're going to go ahead and take one of the white cloths and just go ahead and wipe our apples. This is after they've set overnight. A little sap has came um, onto the apples overnight, which is okay. But we're going to go ahead and just wipe off our apples and make sure they are good to go. So that's what we get. And we're going to also put our sticks in. And I tend, I know this is the ideal way for them, but when I sit my apples up, sometimes they don't sit up straight. So to me, it's better to turn them over because they're more steady when they're on that side. They won't tilt too much, but to just turn them over. So I dip mine upside down. So the stick will be going 
in the apple right here. And you just push it down. Sometimes you have to wiggle them around because it could be a little hard. There we go. And just push it to about, just leaving a little bit of that empty space. Oh gosh, these are hard. Oh, there we go. That's all the space we need in between. Just so when we dip them, right there. Wipe them off really, really good. gonna wipe off all your apples and go ahead and insert your sticks alrighty so I'm gonna do the other three off camera that is a pretty good idea of how you know this works I'm gonna do the other three off the camera and then we'll get started with um, mixing up our concoction our recipe for the candy itself all right so I have my pot like a medium-sized pot that I'm working with I have that and I have my pan with my parchment paper this is so when we finish dipping the apples we dip we put them on the parchment paper so they don't stick to the pan so I'm going to go ahead and add in my one cup of water. Go ahead and turn my eye on. Put it between the eight and the seven, so like medium high. Three cups of sugar. light corn syrup make sure you get all of that out going to just give it one good mix for the roll for the boil get it going for the boil and we want to make sure when we put our thermometer in it does not touch the bottom we want to be able to go under there with our little plastic spatula so it does not need to touch the bottom alrighty so that's all we need for that so we're going to go ahead and let this start to boil it goes very it depends it can go very fast but when it gets to a point it goes it, it kind of slows down but you still want to make sure you always keep an eye on it because it can burn very fast and you do not want to burn your sugar and water and syrup concoct you don't want to burn it it's going your house is going to smell really it's just awful <laughs> it's awful but on standby, you want to go ahead and have your food coloring, whatever color you're going to be using, and your flavoring. I'm going to use strawberry flavor. So when the thermometer says around, let's say, um, soft ball stage, I add in my flavor and my color. So, and that's about, uh, like 220, let's see, 200, that's 250, about 215, yeah yeah that's about right mm -hmm. um fahrenheit or celsius 125 125 celsius so whatever your um thermometer says but around that um soft i mean well 
Yeah, uh, 120. Yeah, well, softball stage. That's when you want to go ahead and add in your color and your flavoring. So we're going to go ahead and let this stuff get to boiling, doing what it does, and then I'll come back to you guys when we get to the point of adding our color and flavor. So our sugar concoction is at a soft ball stage. And I said that's 125 or like one... Yeah, of almost 125 Celsius on your candy thermometer. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the white base. Like I said, we use white, oops, because it helps bring out the true color that we're going for. So our white base, go ahead and just drizzle in a little of that. And I'm almost out. Oh, I have another one. I don't want to open it just yet. All right, here we go. There we go. So um, mix it up and let's see if that's good enough for our base. We're doing a soft pink. And be very careful if you want to use gloves, please use gloves because this candy concoction can give you like third degree burns. I've seen it. So be very, very careful with this concoction. I'm going to add in a little bit more white only because a lot wasn't coming through when I was. All right. I wonder why it's sticking to the bottom. Who knows? So we're going to go ahead and mix that in. So we have our base color, which is white. Now I always add in like a little metallic. It's like a sheer color metallic gold you don't have to do this this is what I do it just gives the base color a nice little sparkle in the light so I add in a little that it doesn't change the color or anything it just adds a little shimmer see it's still white mix that in Well, you guys probably can't see it, but just a little. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see it until I finish. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my color that I'm using, which is a soft pink. And I get my colors, like I said, from Hobby Lobby or the bakery store, the baking supply store. If you have one in your area. About two drops of that should be a good enough. I'm going to soft pink. They have neon pinks, deep pink, um, but we're doing a, a soft pink, like a bubblegum pink. You see how that turned that? So pretty. Right now, the temperature is still even on up. It's almost at 300. That's almost about, it's at a soft crack stage right now. So that's almost about where we want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and add in our strawberry flavoring. And I use Lorian oils. They're really good. And sometimes I use like McCormick flavors too. I don't know if I do. I'm going to use the whole thing. I might just use half of it. Yeah, just half because, well, the whole thing because I only left a drop and there's really nothing in this little thingy anyways. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little stir. Like I said, be very, very careful. This is very, very hot. And we're almost at a hard crack stage. You see the strings coming from it. It's so, like I said, pay very close attention because you can turn around and it could burn that fast.
Okay, we're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the eye. And I'll come back to you guys. So I like for my bubbles to kind of calm down in the mixture. Just let the bubbles calm down a little bit. So then I'm going to take my apple. And I usually do like a dummy apple because sometimes the first dip can be a little rough. But I'm just going to hope that this, this should be fine. Um, sometimes the apples tend to make bubbles. But I think for the most part, like I said, that all goes along with if the apples are bruised or not. So for the most part, my apples were great. So I'm just going to go ahead, tilt the pot, make sure you have something heat resistant under there. And as you can see, the bubbles have calmed down. And I'm just going to go ahead. Let me swish it around a little bit just because that's what I do. Crazy. Go ahead and dip the apple. Get a good swirl on that apple. See how pretty that is? Sorry, my brace looks in the way. Do you see how pretty that is? I'll let that then just take just wipe those little you have to move quick because the sugar does dry I mean will will get thick very fast so that's my first apple and it looks like it's pretty good to go so let me go ahead and dip my second apple tilt your pot Get as close as to the stick as you can. Bring it up. And it's okay if a little gets on the stick. That is okay. Go ahead and get the excess candy off. Set it right there on the parchment paper. Okay, guys. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to go with the flow. what you're going for. Flat bottoms. And I said I was going to have more left over, but I'm so happy. Sometimes I don't necessarily need a dummy apple just to test the sugar itself. So today I did good. I have no bubbles, no air bubbles. Everything turned out good with these. So, yay. <laughs> so I do have extra candy. Um, so what I'm going to do is add some water, put it back on the stove to boil because it helps get the candy out of the pot so it doesn't stick. So I'm going to put it right back where it was, put some water in the pot, put it back on the stove, let it boil for about five minutes, and it'll get the rest of the candy um, out of the pot. Now for the fun part. The apples have cooled for like a, maybe a couple of minutes and it really doesn't take long for them to hard at all. Um, this is what you're gonna get. Nice, pretty, flawless candy apple. Sorry. This is what you're gonna get. 
So like I said, they're all pretty much ready to be splashed. Oh, these are so pretty. <laughs> okay. You want to be very careful because these are, it's like glass. The candy is almost like glass. So we want to be very careful. Something got stuck a little bit on the side. Candy ribbon. Oh gosh, I don't want to come on. It's because it's sticky. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to take a little bit of lemon extract. And we're going to pour uh, a little bit in here. So we can get that. If you need more, just keep it to the side. And then we have our gold um, powder color. And like I said, it is powder. So this is how it looks. And we're just going to. So you have to be careful. Add a little bit to the. Dang it, why did it have to do that? It's okay. You don't want to waste any of these because this stuff is expensive. So this is what you want. This is how you want that to look. So are you guys ready? This is the cute part. I love this part. Let me rip the hand up. And I do it over the sink because it can get messy. As you can see how that just literally sped at me. So you want to go ahead and make sure you have your sink available and freed up so you can do this. And um, you grab your apple and you just take it. Move this over. Hold on tight. You don't want to drop your apple. And you... Literally put it down in the sink and just splash. I'm going to go further down because I don't want to get it on my blinds. No particular way. You're just splashing. To give it that effect. Just splashing the gold on. And I'm actually... I'm going to go in with a little bit more powder, a little, there we go, make it a little thicker. Okay. There we go. That's a little. But you can't go wrong with this. It doesn't have to be in any particular order. You're just splashing it. Keep it deep in the sink though, because you don't want to mess up your blinds if you have a window. Okay. Isn't that so unique and cute? Okay, hold on right click. This is the water boiling from the candy that was left over. Like I said, you want to add water to it. You just want to let that out in the sink on the garbage disposal side. It has broken it down. See that? So it's not stuck to your pot. I'm going to put a little bit more water in it and just let that boil off. To get the rest so you multitasking in between you just put some more water in the sink and it'll it'll dissolve all right next apple
and I'm leaving the description box um, the name of the gold I'm using. I got it off of Amazon. I got a set of gold, bronze, and silver. So I will leave that information. In my description box for you. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me on this tutorial and um, if you guys have any questions feel free, please feel free to um, comment and ask me. Like I said, I'll leave everything in the description box and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.